top, small hand is in 10 and the long hand is in 12. So as I said if it is in 12 we are going to call it as complete number. So it is 10 o'clock. So by seeing the small hand we are going to calculate the time. So see both hands in 12 that means what is the time? Yes 12 o'clock. Very good. Now let's try some uh, problems. Small and three and a big and twelve. So it is three o'clock. The next picture, the small end is nine and long is twelve. So the time is nine o'clock. Okay, here comes some problems. So let's solve it. So for A, it six o'clock. For B, the small end is five and the big end twelve. So it's five o'clock. For C, it's three and twelve. So it's o'clock so c and uh, observe and directly answer so it's two so two o'clock next one try it i will tell the answer late, later we'll solve f so f in 11 in small and 12 in big so it's 11 o'clock the last one small and is this four and the long and is 12 so it's four o'clock very good so this is how we are going to Mark the read the time. So now I have given a exercise. You try the problem. So here they have given the time. You are going to draw the hand. So which is small and which is big and try this problem. So in your clock it have 12 numbers and it has two hands. So short hand for half, long hand for minute. So always the long hand going to be the 12. So based on the short we are going to calculate the time. Practice the problem which I gave. And we'll meet in the next video. Be good in reading the time.